In this video, I will show you how to create a carousel using FreakyTai library. Carousel will be like they have on the official site. As you see, it works pretty good. So from the main point, as you see on the GitHub, it has more than 7000 stars. So it's pretty popular library. And uh, let's check issues. For the closed, the closed was January 17, it's a few weeks ago. So it means that this library is supportable and uh, you can use it. The latest version is 2.3. On the site we have 2.2, but it's okay, we can start using it. So all the source code you will find in the description for this video, you can like this video or leave a comment if you have any questions. Okay, for the demo purpose, we will create empty project and we will start from adding new files. It's index.html, then we need to add the script script.js and uh, let's add the styles in case you will need to customize it a bit. It will be styles CSS. Now with the description, the com documentation, what we need to do? We need to install the library itself. There are only two files, it's CSS and the JS. What's interesting is that we do not need jQuery. Now we will use CDN, but if you need, you can download files and use it from your local rep repository or project. Okay, let's start with CSS. We will add it to the head and the JavaScript we will add it to the body in the end. The next we need, you can use npm as well. Then we need to add the carousel. Let's copy this sample code. Remove these dots and we can try to put some more reasonable content. And the next important part, we need init our carousel. So in the script file, we will select our carousel by the class name and uh, create new flicky tie passing this element and options. This is another sample, but let's copy this code and inside our script JS we will add this file. It's the easiest implementation. So next we need to add um, this script we created. So let's import script.js and also let's add uh, our styles. Right now we, it's empty, but we will add something. Now we have carousel. The next we will run it. I run it from the local IDE, but you can use any other approach. And uh, we will open. So we have dots we have arrows. Looks not so good, but we have behavior and it works. Now, to make it more visually better, let's uh, add some images instead of this empty text. I will use images from the TMDB library it's movie posters like from the avatar or any other. Let's create a few images. As I said all source code you can find in the github repository you can copy these images or you can use your own images or the content. We have two. Let's add a couple more. Uh, 
I guess it's enough. Now we will refresh the page. And as you see, refresh, we have everything what we need. It's swipeable. Let's in click inspect. It's not responsive as we expected, but in our styles we can uh, add some CSS, for example, for the main card. So let's add um, EMG. Let's add the width. 100%. Now we will refresh the page and as you see we have these images and uh, it works. The next. We can add uh, some uh, additional steps. For example, div h1 And H2 so now we have five steps and as you see we can use not only images we can use any tag okay let's add some styles We want to have width for the whole screen. So, and now it works. Okay, let's add some customization. We have dots. We can easily customize it by adding new styles for these um, dots. For the re, for example, we can increase height and width. Re with class dot. Now, the next, on the official documentation, we can see that we have some, um, uh, some options for the behavior. For example, we can disable and dragging but it's not so interesting we can add free scroll and now as you see we can easily move it by the mouse the next Next, I want to show you we can group, for example, to show a few slides on the page. Let's add two, for example. As you see, we have two. There are some CSS issues, but we can easily change it. Okay, what can we do more?
as you see, when page is loaded, in some cases, let's add, for example, slow network. Images are jumping. It's not a good approach, so we can change it and fix it a bit. Let's check again. To fix this jump, let's uh, do the next. Go to the elements and we see that we have main carousel. Uh, we need to align CSS a bit. Okay, let's do the next. Uh, we will comment this carousel function and we see that we have slides. Uh, let's add the next. For the main carousel, we will set display flags. Now all images are in this in one line without jumping and uh, when we will enable carousel now it doesn't work but we have additional class is flicky tie enabled in the styles we will change for main carousel with this class we will put display block and now when you refresh the page, you won't have this terrible behavior with the jumping of the slides. Now all of them are on the same page, on the same row. Also, you can check some additional options with uh, customizing. All of them you can find uh, on the uh, code pen, for example. Let's go to the parallax effect. For example, we want to edit. With parallax, there is some issue with the text content. For example, for our slide, where the lightest slide, where we don't have images, we will remove it to implement it how it should work. Let's remove this slide. And we will use it only for the images. As you see, we need this carousel. We implemented it with properties, options, image loaded and person position. Let's copy it. It's OK. And the next we have additional configuration for the images. Let's copy as well. So we will select all images in the carousel cell class. We will need to edit. Don't forget to change the name of the carousel. And we will align styles. Okay, the next, we need to create this uh, div with this class name and uh, put all the images inside The next, we need uh, some styles for background cell and background image. So only a few lines of them for the carousel cell. So this we will remove. This we will leave. And for description, we don't need. And let's remove styles for the dots. Okay, what do we have? Let's refresh. 
we don't have parallax effect. Let's check why. We have error because of we need LM not carousel itself. And now, as you see, we have this parallax effect implemented pretty easy. So, as you see, everything works fine. And from the benefits, let's check to the network. As JavaScript. As you see, this library only 14 kilobytes, not a lot. It's really good. And we don't need to, also version is 2.3, not what we have in the documentation. It's 2.2. It works pretty fast and we don't need jQuery. I would say it's a great benefit of using this library. And it works out of the box. So if you have any questions, leave a comment and thank you for watching.